Why do I literally dance like a mum? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really fun video. I've seen Ellie Darby do this and then I've also seen Patricia Bright do this. So I'm not claiming to be the only person in the world to have done this. But today I'm going to be testing shapewear, but not only shapewear, pretty little thing shapewear, which obviously is very affordable. I feel like shapewear is becoming more of a thing. Like Kim Kardashian has released her own, oh my God, I've just realized my background is so messy. <laughs> My inhaler. I mean, Kim Kardashian has released her own shapewear line, Skims, and I feel like shapewear shouldn't be like as much of kind of a secret or like an awkward thing to talk about because yeah, like they are big fuck off granny pants. And what? And what? I actually have a pair of shapewear that I do wear very often. As a lot of you guys know, I have an issue with my belly button, AKA it's five miles deep. It's not glamorous, it's not sexy, but these are literally my lifesaver. They're seamless nude underwear, so it's completely seamless and it like covers my belly button. On satin dresses or even slinky material dresses like this, that was hot. Or on slinky dresses like this, you don't really want seams on your underwear, so those do a job and they also really accentuate your belly button. And if you've got a deep belly button like me, a bit of an issue. I don't know, I just feel like shapewear is great and I wanted to try some more. Okay, it's really something in my eye out. I wanted to try some more shapewear out for you guys if you guys are interested or if you've never even heard of shapewear. Here you go. Obviously, not saying you need shapewear under a dress to look good in the dress, that's not true. But I know for a lot of people, it will give you more of a confidence boost. And if so, that is fine. And also, not every piece of underwear you have to wear has to be really sexy, really cute, really pretty. Like, you know what I mean? What is underwear for? Like, what actually is underwear for? Is underwear to like... I don't know, I don't really want to get into this anyway. Ow. Oh god. I feel like I've rambled on. I've literally been recording for six minutes. Oh, the problem. Um, I'm gonna start off showing you the dress that I'm wearing. A lot of you guys will know flat as a pancake. All these girls on Twitter are like, oh my god, I'm so flat. <laughs> Bitch, come talk to the queen. It's actually something I'm so insecure of. Like, I really just hate my bum. Why are bums even a thing? I wish they didn't even exist. I literally have no bum, but you know what? I could be a nasty person, so it's worse things in the world really aren't there than having a flat derriere. This is the dress that I'm going to be showing everything on. I've got no shape that on. I got a little food, a little pouch to hold my food. As you can see, I was not born blessed or even just, I wasn't born with the body part of a bum. This dress is also a pretty little thing, if anyone was wondering. Right, okay, let's get on to the shapewear. First item of shapewear I've got are these, and they are some big, big uh, snickers. <laughs> They're thong at the back, which I like because I don't need anything else squashing what doesn't already exist. You know what I mean? I mean, Alexa, play Despacito, if you know what I mean. So basically, I lost the footage from this clip of me trying on this shapewear. But I'll just quickly summarise what I thought of it. I actually really like this pair. I felt like it made my waist look really snatched. It didn't squash my bum in any more than it <laughs> already is. It wasn't obvious under the dress. Alexa, honey, now is not the time. Didn't show too much under the dress. Obviously, it's nude, so it's very versatile. We work under see-through pieces. But yeah, I'm really pissed off because I actually really liked this piece of shapewear and I really wanted to show it, but footage is gone, never to be seen, like my A-levels. <laughs> so first piece of shapewear, thumbs up. And then the second piece of shapewear, which you're about to see me try on now, is basically these like black big pants there's no glamorous way to put it with bum pads so in terms of like my front figure i feel like if anything it's actually just made me look a bit boxier sorry you can see the label there i feel like it's made me look more straight up and down like it's totally squished in my hips i don't really have very big hips anyway i'm not too keen on it like from the front i feel like i just look a bit straight up and down i mean you know the belly button situation has been amended but you turn to the side what are those? Why does it literally look like I put chicken fillet on my bum? It doesn't make my bum look bigger. It just makes it look like it's got like two cysts. Like maybe if you like want to go cheeky. Oh, my mum's running a bath. Huh? Be irritating. It's a no from me. Maybe if you had a medium. It's just the bum pads are too small. They're also like 
rock hard, bloody hell. I get what PLT were trying to do, but I just don't feel like it's the, that successful. I'd rather just embrace the flat bum club than walk around looking like I've got cysts on my butt cheeks. Another bum related shapewear item. These are black, spruce it up a little bit. The fun part about these is they've actually got holes for your bum cheeks. So they're supposed to pull and like lift your bum cheeks up. I feel like we're gonna have another cystic looking situation, but I mean, I'm open to anything. I'm here to try and spend money on these things so that you don't have to. We have a slight situation. I'm gonna let Emma react to this one. For now? Yeah. Okay, so so I've, got, so I've got some shapewear on. Yeah. Now I want you to tell me what you think. I think it looks fine. I honestly, I think it's <laughs> really natural. It doesn't make you bum. Do you want to see? Do you want to see what it is? Is it like? Do you want to see? No. Do you want to see what it is? Yeah. I'll blur this out on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh my god! I think yeah, it looks absolutely terrible. Great. It makes it look so saggy. It's so obvious what's going on. Do you think? Well, I know now what's going on. I don't think it makes it look terrible. Oh my though. god, I really, really do. I'd just rather have the flat bum than have this. I see what I've got such a flat bum, it would just kind of. Literally, if you want to know yeah, where, well. if you want to know where I've inherited the flat bum from, <laughs> what do you think from the front though? I feel like it makes me. What have you more got on? What, what, what's on at the front? Like, uh, what, what, does it's that just go top um, to bottom. Yeah, it's like here. Yeah. To here, I personally think it makes me look more straight up and down. I tried on another one that had like, it's got the boning that the nude one had. I think you look lovely, but I don't think you need it. So it does look oh, really just, nice. That is absolutely unacceptable. It does look a bit weird actually when the light catches it from yeah, like, this it angle. It looks like, look at it from the side. It's, it's like it's on, my bum is on a shelf. You get elf on a more. shelf, it's yeah. batty on a shelf this Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry PLT, but I'm gonna have to give this one a miss. I really wanted it to work. Ooh. Ooh, uh, nude shapewear plunge bodysuit. Once again, I got it in nude. It's always best to buy like shapewear or underwear that you want to wear under dresses in nude. Ooh, okay. So this is like a full on bodysuit. I guess it's for plunging necklines and it's got a really low back and it's like thong once again so you can wear it with backless things. I'm excited to try this on. I think this could be good. There's no push up in the cups in case anyone wants to know. I can't even tell you how long I've been playing around with this to try and get it right. These boob cups um, are just not made for this neckline, I guess. It's not terrible, but it's not tight enough to do anything and there's literally the tag dangling in between my legs like a tampon string. Sorry to be graphic, but we were all thinking it. I just don't think it does enough I don't know, maybe, probably with the right dress, but it's just not tight enough to suck in and do anything. If anything, it just kind of adds an extra layer. If you are a medium, I would say get a small so it can suck in and do something. Or you'd have to wear it with a different dress. It's not terrible. I'm sure it works great with the right... <coughs> oh my god, that's so gross, I'm so sorry. I'm sure it works great with the right dress, but this situation, it's just not worth it. Oh my god, we've got two more items. Here we have a nude high waist satin panel shape wear control. <laughs> Anyone else just getting like Regina George scenes <laughs> from this? Nude high waist satin panel shape wear control brief. Okay, um, this is fairly new, I think, to the shape wear section. It's basically just like high waisted underwear, but it's got a satin panel down the middle. I don't know if this is purely to look nice or whether it's functional, I'm not too sure, but these are actually briefs, which mean they cover your whole bum. I don't typically wear underwear that like covers my whole bum because my bum is already so flat. Doing that just it's literally inverted. This one has just got to be a no. You can see the label here, but obviously if you were going to actually wear these out, you would take the label off. But I don't know if you can see, you can actually see um, the seams underneath this, which is something I buy shapewear for. The Spanx that I have, I got these because they're seamless and they work so well under satin dresses. I just don't feel like it's great. It's not tight enough to do anything for my shape. So I definitely recommend sizing down if you did want to try this out. Obviously all bodies are different, all different people People want their body to look a certain different way which is another reason why we should all be happy with our own bodies because your body is someone else's dream body and I think that's important to remember I just don't I don't feel like it does anything I really don't it flattens my bum and there's not much more I can say about it if anything I feel like it makes me look a bit frumpier 
And the satin panel down the middle, I don't really think does anything. Right, this last shapewear is something that really intrigues me on the website. It's like a two-piece set. Basically, it's like a full-on corset that you do up at the front. Um, your grandma could never. And then some big fat <laughs> granny pants. Literally, what has my channel come to? Like, That was actually the most stressful thing of my life. I got the top halfway on and oh my god, it got stuck. Like, it was fully stuck. I'm not even... Sorry, I need to lift you up a bit. I just spent a good 25 minutes trying to get that on and then, like, a good 10 trying to get it off. So, I guess that one was a bit of a fail. So, I'm afraid you are not going to find out how that one fits unless you want to test it out yourself, in which case if you do... Go send me pics because I'm kind of intrigued. I had a feeling that one was going to be kind of a good one, hence how like <sighs> tight it was. But um, yeah, she wouldn't go on. <laughs> not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't have kept it anyway. Like, I know shapewear is not supposed to be pretty, but I mean, I feel like this is just kind of crossing a line. To be honest, although we'll all see it on the Kardashians next week and we'll be all over it let's be real so everyone that's the end of my video i really 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 hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up i hope this video was not only a bit of a laugh at me but maybe a little bit educational if you have never delved into the world of shapewear and you've always been intrigued about it maybe this video has opened your eyes a bit i don't think shapewear is something I was like, I don't want it to be known that I wear these ugly nude pants under my satin dress because do you know what? We are all girls, we all go through the same struggle and these are life changing. Also, you don't need to wear shapewear under a dress. If you put on a dress and you feel amazing, girl, go out, rock it. I also think there is no shame in wearing shapewear. I loved Alicia Marie's video. She gave such like an open, honest opinion of it. Like all your favourite celebrities on the catwalk, girl, they're wearing spanks on spanks on spanks. Banks. I heard like Beyonce wears seven pairs of tights or something. I mean. <laughs> yes, I really, really, really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. You can subscribe if you would like to see more of me and make sure you click the notification bell so that my videos come up in your subscription boxes. I have all my social medias listed in the description box down below. I'm most active over on my Instagram. I love you guys all so, so, so much. And I will be seeing a ton of you at Winter in the City this weekend. How exciting. I will see you guys. Oh, I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye. Well, I just threw a piece of power up in the air. Okay, bye. <laughs>